I'm Robbie. I'm the middle child. So to start, I want to quote our host earlier because there's something she said that struck me really deeply. During the cake cutting ceremony, she mentioned something along the lines of, I want you to feel this moment 25 years. So to preface my you know, speech today, I want to start by saying that life is an act of letting go. So I'll be honest, growing up, I wasn't the best kid compared to my brothers. I was the pariah. I was the outcast. I always felt misunderstood in the sense that I feel like I didn't belong. And when we were asked to look back on our memories, I realized, oh, I was that nine-year-old precocious child who wanted to read books that weren't appropriate for him at that age. Or I was that young high school student who would sneak into the cinema without telling my parents. But, you know, before, these arguments I used to attach with a lot of facility. But here's the thing. Memory is subjective. We experience joy because we attach a lot of happiness to that memory. Likewise, we experience sorrow because we attach a lot of pain to that memory. So growing up, I attached a lot of pain to those memories because I always felt misunderstood. But again, memory is subjective. So let's look at it from another angle. All of these arguments and fights we've had, especially with my mom, when I was younger, instead of looking at it from a place of facility, what if these arguments come from a place of love and understanding? What if these arguments come from the idea that here we are, two beings trying to understand each other and two beings trying to reconcile their desires and their differences in personality and beliefs in one middle ground. So when I began to think that way, everything in my life changed. My memories became a sort of kaleidoscope in which every little moment mattered so much more. And it became a kaleidoscope in which the little moments mattered so much more than the grand moments. For instance, little moments such as my mom calling the repairman to fix my piano after I banged on it, practicing so hard on the keys. Or perhaps my dad buying me a new e-reader after my old e-reader broke. Or little coffee days that my mom and dad would go to. Or movie nights, or dinner nights, or them asking me what my Enneagram type is, or them asking me what my MBTI is because I'm so different, and what if all of these experiences or arguments are coming from a place of understanding and us trying to understand each other so that we can bridge the gap between us so that we can love each other more and more. So, to end, I would like to quote again our host, feel this moment right now. Of course, there's nothing like the present moment, and I may be young, I have my whole life ahead of me, but I've come to cherish all the little moments that make me who I am today. And regardless of the meaning I attach these moments, be it joy, pain, success, or failure, I've learned to embrace all of these moments, regardless of the pain I may feel at that moment or the happiness I may feel at that moment, because nothing will ever last. And even if life is an act of letting go, it is through this impermanence, this transience, this ephemerality, if you will, wherein we can cherish this moment so much more. And it is these moments where I hope I can cherish with you throughout the rest of my life. So I love you, mom and dad, and happy 25 years.